The winner of the X Factor 2010 is... Matt! The public just got something in him. I think they saw that he was real, wasn't going to compromise himself. I think they liked his honesty. I liked him for that. My life's changed hugely. I mean, it's the polar opposite of how it was last year. I've been given the opportunity to co-write my debut album, which I've been trying to do for a long, long time. <laughs> Get it on! I'm with Columbia Records now, alongside acts like John Mayer, Kings of Leon, The Boss, Bruce Springsteen. I'm in the process of getting my band together. Yeah, with a couple more, that should be there. We're doing a, a warm-up tour of the Highlands and Islands. Thank you so much, Inverness! To prepare us for our album launch in Coco in London. Go, go, go! And in a few weeks' time, I'm going back to sing on The X Factor, which I'm pretty nervous about. Please welcome the reigning X Factor champion, Mr Matt Cardle. <laughs> This is his dream come true. You know, having millions of people waiting to hear what his single's like. You know, he's won the competition, he's gone away, made a record. This is it. So this is me as an artist, as opposed to Matt from The X Factor. A lot has changed for me in the year since winning X Factor. When We Collide went to number one, and I found myself in the media spotlight. He was the kind of winner I wanted. He's gone out with his mates, he's got drunk, he's gone to strip clubs, pubs, I mean, all the things I'd do if I won, and I think he hasn't changed. If you think 12 months, 15 months ago, Matt was working as a painter and decorator, he was a normal Essex lad gigging at the weekends with his bands, now, you can't walk down the street without being recognised. I performed at some amazing events and got to meet some incredible people. I got to go and skate with the Sanchez boys. And I've been watching their videos for years as well. They're awesome skaters. I was at Wireless Festival and Huey from the Fun Loving Criminals came up and said, you know, like, hey, me and my wife have been bolting for you. Congratulations. <laughs> I met David Beckham. Thank you, like uh, just... I met David Cameron. Great honour to meet you. Well done, Steve. Well, good luck tonight. Thank you, mate. And he was like, you know, I've been voting for you, which I was just like, oh my god. And then he's, he's like, sorry, but my wife was voting for Rebecca. And I was like, it's absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. Dave, it's cool. Hey, hat, just on here, please, mate. But the most amazing experience has been to write my own album. I've spent the last five months in the studio recording my debut album. I've been lucky enough to be working alongside some amazing writers and producers. Biff Stanard's been an integral part of the record. He's worked with the likes of, you know, you 2 David Gray. Something to see what he does. I think there's a certain amount of me having to prove myself um, and justify why I won The X Factor. I would guess for Matt there's been a lot of soul searching to make sure that A, he's got the right sound, the right songs, the right record, the right amount of input. You know, for most people it, it's ten years in, in the making, these records. For him it's been about six months. Matt wanted to set his own challenge, you know, he didn't want to make a record that was made by somebody else, you know, he always was clear what he wanted. And Matt, I don't know what it is about him, I've always trusted him. I've always trusted his instincts. I 
I got a call from my A&R and then he just said, do you want to do you want to write with James Wolfe from Star Sailor? So obviously I was like, what the hell? Massive Star Sailor fan, so it's been such a privilege to be able to work with him. We wrote, you know, some really great songs together. Matt's contributed a lot to the, the lyrics specifically because it's important that he understands the song and it's coming from his perspective. So the first track that we're looking at is uh, Reflections. I think, did this begin with a piano? This is kind of where it started, isn't it, I think? Or maybe it started with a guitar. It's more guitar, I think, wasn't it? Probably started with that, yeah. That was probably... That was the initial... I thought you'd change your mind and say it's true. Lyrically, it's about, you know, when you've been with someone and you didn't... Um, you weren't that into it, or you weren't really appreciating it, and then they do one. And then it's too late, and it's like, I should have seized the moment when you loved me, you know, so like reflections, reflections of a wasted love, yeah. I just feel so lucky to have been able to retain as much control um, over the direction and, you know, the writing of the songs to, to create the album in the way that I wanted to create it. Well, the good thing is I don't think people know what to expect from him. But if, if it makes sense, it's got to sound like a matte record. And it does sound like a matte record. It matters a great deal for it to do well, like more than anything ever, really. You know, this shows the platform, and that's the uh, the opportunity that I was given. I mean, I've by no means made it yet, so this is the the real test to see if, when I get with these guys and write, whether that's the kind of stuff people want to listen to. Praying it is. I spent such a long time locked up in the studio that it was great to go back and see my friends and family. They mean so much to me. They keep me grounded, uh, especially my brother, and he knows me better than anyone else. Calm down, Slag. <laughs> Hi, mate. Right. How you doing, man? Oh, I'm very sweaty, man. Me and my brother were really tight. We used to argue and fight a lot, but we don't now. We're kind of best mates. He'd kick my ass in a fight. We used to fight a lot, but my tactic was getting on my back and kicking him because, like, my legs were about as strong as his arms. Yeah, I remember it all, really. I'm just, like, in his bedroom strumming the entire time. <laughs> Believe it if that goes on. Like... I remember getting the yeah the early twist and watching Matt and Chlorine. That was shocking. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see that back. What was I doing? Swinging my hair around like some kind of douche. This terrible noise. But like, you were just able to skelter at, this, at that point. How was Scout in 1996? Was cool. DJ Dougal. <laughs> I went back to my local a little while ago and paid a couple of tunes for everyone. It's pretty exciting. I was just expecting to go for a drink, so not, I didn't know he was here tonight. So. Oh, yeah, on the X Factor this Saturday. And I didn't, I wanted to kind of watch it. I think my dad's recorded it for me. Oi! Scott's a great friend of mine, has been for a long time. He's Stuff a very him. lovely man. He just struggles with his hats. <laughs> <laughs> Something about Matt, he taught me how to string a guitar. 
That's a problem. That is it. genuine. That is genuine. I've been is singing it? the same way ever since. Uh, he's better than me on a skateboard. Everyone's better than you on a skateboard. Everyone. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> the Five Bells is special to me just because they've, they've all supported me so much. That was the one pub that when I was in my bands that I would go to and bless them, they would actually have listened to the CDs that I was making. And they would know the words and they'd sing along. And that meant more than anything. Okay, um... <clears throat> but I'm gonna play you a couple of songs, thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I just want to say um, some you. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do want to say I love you. Um, you know, you guys have shown me a lot of support over the years. Um, this reminds me when I came back with Danny and started blubbing like a baby. But, you know, it does mean a lot. Well, you know, men cry now, you know, it's, 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 I don't think that's a girly thing, you know, he's emotional, uh, and I like that. And this is where I've been singing and playing for years, and I, I always, yeah, get a little bit emotional, when, because they've, they, like, they have been so supportive of me the whole time, and I haven't played here since the homecoming on X Factor, and I did the same thing, <laughs> trying to talk and start crying, you know what I mean, it, but it's like, big baby. <laughs> There was a time when, uh, when he first started coming in, that all of our staff would go crazy for him. He's wonderful, actually. He's a very he's, nice man. He's really nice. And if, and if the wheel were working and he came in, they'd suddenly stop working and hover around his table. Actually, he's lovely, isn't he? Yeah, he's very nice. Can you tell me something about that that people might not know? <laughs> 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 Imogen spent a lot of lovely time with Matt. <laughs> Still got a bar tab, and one of the customers tonight has said to me, oh, wherever we go, we always get his drinks free, and it's so funny that he comes into his local and they still expect him to pay his bar tab. Too right! <laughs> I'm just putting the finishing touches on my album, and uh, everybody's really excited about the writer of my first single. Here we go, shooting. Roll camera. And I've still got to shoot my video. Oh, this is a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to have a lovely day and a bit Absolutely. of a lovely night. <laughs>